This run just goes on and on and on. Today, we are playing Croatia for the second time in this tournament. This time, it's the Euro semi-finals. Can we well and truly avenge our defeat in the 2018 World Cup semi-final? As I attempt to prove that I'm tailor-made to win the Euros. Hello, 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 people. Welcome back to the channel. It's me, TaylorMade Gaming, back at you once again with another video. And today, can you believe it? We've got episode number six of TaylorMade to win the Euros. And it's a huge game today. Croatia again. We've already beaten them in the group stages of this competition. A repeat performance of that one. And we are in the final of the Euros. We've already beaten Croatia. The game's at Wembley. Everything surely is lining up for an England win. But we've all been here before with England against Croatia in a major semi-final. And well, I've blanked out the memories of that game because it's just way too painful. Hopefully, we can put it right here today against Croatia. And just before we do get started with the game, as ever, I do want to say thank you to Dodgy Gamer for making this database that has made this series possible. I've really enjoyed playing it. Hope you guys have enjoyed watching it. And if you guys have already gone over to his channel and got the files for yourself and given this a go, please do let me know how you're getting on down below. But if you haven't, go over to Dodgy Gamer's channel. He's got an introductory video about this database. The link to that video is going to be down below. And in the description of his video are all the links you need to play this save for yourself so go and give it a go it's really a lot of fun i really enjoyed it so yeah get into it and also drop him a sub because as of recording so close to a thousand subscribers he is so please do push him over that edge he really really does deserve it and so let's get on with this yeah we've got a massive game here against croatia but just before we do get into that you will see that in the other semi-final, Belgium have beaten Spain in extra time. Can we have a look and see what happened in that game? Yes, we can. And as you can see, like I said, 2-1. Isco gave Spain the lead in the 50th minute. Kevin De Bruyne equalised in the 80th minute. And then Romelu Lukaku, one of my favourite strikers in the world, gave his team the win and yep so if we get through this game it's gonna be belgium probably the best team in the world will be taking on and here is the team for today's game we've got henderson in goal bertrand is back in at left back Dyer and Maguire, I think they did a decent job against Italy. So they're keeping their place there. And Aaron Wan-Basika comes in at right back because Arnold has just given everything he has over the last few weeks. So Basika comes in for him. And then in the middle, James Madison comes back into the starting eleven. I think he did well when he came off the bench against Italy so he starts today's game Jordan Henderson and Phillips are the other two central midfielders and up front it's Marcus Rashford but alongside Harry Kane is Raheem Sterling he's not played in a few games not since the group stage I think but Calvert-Lewin is looking a little bit tired and so I thought Sterling he's fresh he's gonna have pace why not try him out and see what he can do up front? If it does go wrong, we have still got Calvert-Lewin on the bench or Ivan Tony or Ollie Watkins. So we've got options 
if Sterling does not perform. And now let's get into the dressing room. Here we are in the dressing room. So let's go. Yeah, go out there and carry straight on from where you finished. And yep, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine players all motivated. So that is a very nice start to, to today's proceedings. As for the first time in years, my microphone has tried to hit me in the face. But thankfully it didn't. And so let's go tunnel. And how, how important will Harry Kane be today? A uh, daft question. Speaking of daft questions, I, I had the press conference before this game. Big Euro semi-final. Yeah? Two questions in the press conference. What? How is that realistic? It's not, but oh well, let's get into the game. Oh, yep, yeah, will you stop asking me questions now? Why didn't you ask all these in the press conference yesterday? Well, two minutes in, Madison with a free kick, Maguire with the header, and, well, oh, I think we've got a penalty. I think the referee's given us a very early penalty for a push on Maguire. What is the final decision going to be? Referee's checking, and it has been given. And who's going to take this one? Oh, I can't see. VAR, get out of the way. This time, oh, it's Marcus Rashford again. He's already missed one penalty this summer, but he's not missed the most important one. England have the lead two minutes into the semi-finals of the Euros. But again, we've all been here. England taking an early lead against Croatia in a major semi-final. Please, let's not throw it away like England did that day. 15 minutes in now. Maguire with a very long ball. And Sterling is onto it. Sterling's in behind. Sterling's tried to chip it. And it's 2-0. Easy. Easy as you like. Just old, simple, Wimbledon-esque football here. Just long ball it over the top. But Raheem Sterling with that little bit of quality I was hoping he would bring today. He's dinked it over the keeper. He's tried to miss it, to be honest. But it has gone in the back of their net. And now, oh, come on. Can we make this 3-0? Come on. Bertrand to Sterling. Back to Bertrand with the cross. Calvin Phillips nods it down for Rashford. And he goes back to Calvin Phillips, who shoots... 3-0, 3-0 to the England. We are going to the semi, to the final of the Euros. Oh my gosh. It would take an epic bottle job to lose it from here. Even I don't think we're going to bottle this. 33 minutes gone. Croatia with what I think is their first highlight. And the free kick comes in for Modric, but Lovren heads it over. Oh, here we go again. Croatia once again. Modric with a corner this time. But Henderson heads away. And it's Rashford with the ball in space. And he's got the pace to make Croatia pay here. Rashford squares it. And Sterling, 4. It's 4-0. What a performance this is. This is the end of Croatia being decent, surely. Because we have picked them a part how many could this be 10 what what is the biggest win ever in a semi-final of a national competition if you know let me know down below i think we might beat it wow what a first half that has been it is four 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 nil wow 10 shots we've had to their four. They've only had one on target to our seven. Our XG at half time is 1.98. Wowzers. Do, do I take a little risk and take Harry Kane off? I think, I think we do. Keep him 100% fit for what undoubtedly is going to be a final now. So we're going to take Kane off. You know what? Let's put Ivan Tony in. Why the hell not? Put him in there. And who else do we definitely want to keep fit? Uh, Madison, I think. 
I think Madison's one we definitely want to keep fit. So get Foden on for Madison. And yep, here we go. Second half. Come on, England. Seven minutes into the second half. Ivan Tony back to Harry Maguire. Maguire goes into Henderson to Ivan Tony, who's tried to play that back to his man there, but Olsic has nicked it, and Croatia are coming at us. Can they get one back? No. I could have done better than that, and I haven't kicked a football in about 10 years. But immediately following that, Maguire, 2-1 Besika. Again, we've given the ball away. Rebic with the shot, an easy save for Henderson. An hour almost gone, and Croatia are coming forward once more. Besiko with a cross, and Rebic with a volley, but Henderson again makes that look easy. Just about 15 minutes left to go. I've just noticed Calvin Phillips is looking a little bit tired. So I'm going to take him off. You now what, we're going to bring on the main man, Declan Rice. He can go in there. And hopefully that should see us out for the next 15 minutes. We've won, haven't we? Surely. Five minutes left. We've got one last highlight, maybe. Foden trying to come past his man. He's into the box. And oh, that's a free kick. If that gets given as a penalty, I think that's harsh. But the referee is going over to have a butchers at it. I think that's a free kick. What does the referee think? Come on, we all know it's a free kick. Just give us the free kick. Yep, no penalty. No penalty, no drama. We're 4-0 up, as it's going to be Foden to take that free kick. What is he going to do with it? Is he going to whip it in, or is he going to be clever and try and play it to Rashford? He's whipped it in, but Rebic has headed it away. And now, is any of our men going to come for this? No. Petkovic. Wide to Orsic for Croatia. And back to Fisaiko. And well, highlight ends there. 90 minutes on the clock. Foden with a corner ball. Bida heads away. Foden once again plays it in. And Rice, ah, oh, I would love Declan Rice to get a goal. But it is not to be yet. As now we've got another corner ball. And well, the referee might as well, might as well blow his whistle here. Foden with the corner. Lovren heads away. Now Kovacic is coming forward over the halfway line. He's got a defender with him. And come on, referee. They're not going to score four goals in two minutes. And can Foden nod this down? Yes, he does. Ivan Tony tries to go past his man, but doesn't. But Sterling does. Sterling is in space. And Livakovic with the save. As one last corner is going to ensue. But we do not see that. Instead, we are going to see the referee blow his whistle any second now. As we clear the ball. For Psycho, Bertrand, Rashford. You can hear the fans in the stadium going mental. This is one of the best England performances, I think, ever. The fans are loving it. The fans are begging the referee to blow his whistle to let the party get started. And come on, ref. We all want to have a very, very good night out in Wembley now. Bertrand has crossed it. And there it is. It was never in doubt. 4-0 win. We have demolished Croatia. We have Ended Croatia as a footballing nation. What a performance. 15 shots to their 11. 8 on target to their 4. 2.79 XG to their 0.97. And well, we are in the final to play against Belgium. Let me just say to the lads, I'm very pleased. And yep, they are all inspired and motivated. And that is where we are going to leave it for today, boys and girls. If you've enjoyed that video, and how could you not have? What a performance that was. Pop a massive thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager 2020 con 2021 content. And TEW 2020 content. 
and whatever else is coming onto the channel. It's all a lot of good stuff. Follow me on Twitter at Taylor M Gaming. And yep, guys, thank you so much for watching. I shall see you next time for the final of the Euros. Come on, England.